Hey guys, so ignore the appearance. As usual, it's super late at night when I decide to film. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed last week's Torchwood uh, First Thoughts. I watched episodes one and two. I'm now watching episodes three and four, so I thought I'd do another First Thoughts for you. So as I'm currently filming this segment, I've just finished watching episode three of Torchwood. Um, I'm going to finish filming this segment, watch episode 4 and then film again, so you'll get a review of both. Oh, the lighting's just changed. This isn't a review really, it's just first thoughts. Episode 3, I think it was called War Machine. That was actually really emotional, yeah. I mean, I kind of felt bad, like I did not see the twist at the end. I don't really want to spoil a lot in this, but... I'm guessing that you guys will have probably already watched Torchwood if you're watching this video. There's this, this piece of machinery, I forgot the name of it, this alien technology. When pressed, you can see events from the past. It's a really interesting concept because um, one of the characters in it says that he, could, that he saw his own death, which doesn't end up happening. But could you imagine pressing a button and seeing the exact moment of your death? That was, like, really hard-hitting for me. Um, and like I said, I didn't see the twist at the end, but I thought that was a fantastic episode. I much preferred that to episode two. I mean, I don't know what was going on with episode two, but episode three, really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, there's definitely a lot of sexual tension between Jack and Gwen, isn't there? I mean, I'm literally going in blind. I have virtually no idea about what, what's going to go on. But there's a lot of tension between Jack and Gwen. My prediction is that her boyfriend Reese is either going to die or they're going to split. Like, that is not going to last, I don't think. But I could be wrong. I'm still not keen on Owen, but he's kind of redeemed himself a little bit in this episode. But he's not my cup of tea at the minute, so we'll see. I like Tosh. Is, it Ta is her name Tosh? I think it is, yeah. Uh, and of course, I always like Captain Jack. But I feel like he's slightly emotionless in these at the minute. I mean, I'm sure as we go on, I'll get a different viewpoint. But I feel like he's, you know, not really showing that much emotion at the minute. And he's sort of a bit heartless. Is that, you know? And I don't really like that. But I'm sure that character development will happen. Gwen, I, I like as a character... I think the actress that plays her is Eve Miles, isn't it? She's fantastic. But again, Gwen can be a little bit wooden uh, at, at points and a little bit emotionless. So I'm excited to see where the character development takes us. I think that's definitely my favourite episode so far. And I've only watched three, so I mean, my opinion's definitely going to change, isn't it? But now I'm going to watch episode four, which is called Cyber Woman. It's literally on the telly now. So I will watch episode four. And then I'll uh, get back to you and see what I thought about that one. Okay, so I just finished episode four, Cyberwoman. That one was quite emotional as well. Oh my gosh. So I'm not quite sure how I felt about it. We discover a bit more of Ianto, uh, Ianto's backstory, Ianto Jones. I know that he was in Torchwood 1 and it references the Battle of Canary Wharf quite a lot in this episode. So that's a nice Doctor Who Torchwood tie-in. I'm hoping for lots more of those. I'm not sure how I felt about that one. I mean, the whole Cyberwoman thing was pretty good, but I thought the costume was ridiculous. Let me just get that out there. Like, I understand that it was a half conversion, but they've done part conversions before in Doctor Who, and it's never looked that ridiculous. So... <laughs> I did not like the costume at all. The cyber woman had heels, like there was a heel on the boot. It's just totally unnecessary. So I wasn't a big fan of the costumes and we'll put that out there right away. And the storyline was a bit messed up. Like I know it was to give Ianto a backstory with his girlfriend in Canary Wharf and everything that happened, but it was a bit messed up. Like how would they not know that she was under there that whole time? Like, no one's bothered to go down there at all. It was just really weird. Um, quite gory when you saw the part conversion of the uh, Japanese man. I can't remember his name. Quite gory. And this is definitely more adult than Doctor Who. Definitely. Like, I knew it was going to be, but I didn't realise exactly how more adult it is like there's they really hit the line don't they on some of the things but it's it's weird coming from series three of doctor who which is what i'm on now to series one of torchwood 
and the difference, oh, it's so crazy. So like I said in my episodes one and two at uh, First Thoughts, I'm going to be watching all the way up to episode nine of Torchwood. Then I'm going to be going back to the Lazarus Experiment of season three of Doctor Who and then doing one Doctor Who, one Torchwood, one Doctor Who, one Torchwood until the end of season one. This is what I've been told to do. And then the end of season one, then I'm going to watch Utopia, The Sound of Drums and The Last of the Time Lords. So because apparently at the end of season one, Jack goes off and that's when we see him in Utopia. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully the timeline works out. I need to work out season two and series five of Doctor Who. I need to work all that out. But um, yeah, I I think these two episodes are definitely better than episode one and episode two for me. I don't think I'm ever going to like episode two. I think I can re-watch this a hundred times and I'll still hate episode two. I think episode three has been my favourite so far. So that's my initial thoughts. Let's uh, get on. So hopefully next week, because I'll be doing this as a kind of weekly thing, so even if I watch more tonight, I won't post another Torchwood review till next week. So hopefully next week you'll get episodes five and six, and I'm hoping to do videos like this for all four seasons of Torchwood. So if you'd like that, then please let me know. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.